Okay, hey, uh, we're now on the other side of the track. We were just over there. Now we're over here. Um, and if you haven't noticed, uh, this morning our track guys, I'm gonna guess uh, Mike Valencia and hard to say maybe Mike Fossey or somebody else came out, but uh, I've already worked the track in today a little bit, got the tractor and the disc out there and stuff. So every day, every day something's going on just in between the two Saturdays. So anyways, um, let's check out the uh, timing tower. We are on top of the, the grandstands right behind the flag tower. Uh, so we'll go in here and check this out. So basically you come in, kind of like the other side, just a lot smaller. Have our uh, MyLab system here. Uh, over here in the corner is our loop decoder and the MyLab server. And for those of you that don't understand, um, actually, I don't know if you can see that, that big yellow cord right there. So that runs all the way down, goes underground, goes under the track, creates a big loop, and comes back in a, in a loop. And that is underneath the flag tower, underneath the surface of the track. And as cars drive around with their transponder, uh, their transponder goes over top of that, it sends out a signal, it trips that loop, that signal comes into this decoder right there, then the, or this decoder right there, goes into the server from the decoder, and from there it comes into my laps and the screen that we have before you. And let me just flip this around. Okay, so just so you guys who've never never seen this or never understand uh, what actually goes on up here, it's not somebody just watching TV. Um, they do have two screens, but there's reasons for that. Um, but just to give somebody you know an idea of how these things go, uh, when you only have one person up here, meaning there's not a hand scorer, there's only one operator, they're watching both of these screens and whatever's going on out there. Um, it's, it's a lot to do, and there's a lot going on. Uh, the screen does not always look like this. Uh, this is just how to set it up for the day. Uh, this is the track we run. We have a single point, which is a start-finish spot, which you can see start-finish. That's kind of where our loop is. Um, it just kind of sets us up for the day. Uh, the next, next tab would be registration. So we have all of our groups of races and heats and practices and things. Um, also tells us our, our drivers and, and their transponders if they've registered with us. Uh, this happened to be from Saturday night, so we're just kind of looking back at Saturday night. Next from there is the actual timing. So when there is an event going on, um, you know, it'll come up over here as far as a run. So it'll come up there and we'll just select a run from Saturday. Um... Oh, I don't care. Uh, let's just do... Uh, yeah, we'll do restricted heat number one. So if they were to come out, um, initially when they come out, uh, it's it's the warm-up flag. So it's it's purple, warm-up flag. They come out in that order um, per their lineup. And they'll they'll loop around the track under that, that purple flag. And this is kind of what the operator sees, and they have to see all of these... So up here is the individual car number, the driver, uh, how many laps have started, which none because it hasn't started yet, Any their speed, their uh, the passing time is, as far as time of the day, and how many times the signal that is actually from the transponder is hitting the loop is, is uh, you know, I'm not sure what the frequencies are. We're not all into that. What that strength is, and then over here to the, the far side, it'll actually show you a barcode of, of that signal strength. So all of those transponders were good through that through that parade lap. Down here at the bottom, again under purple, that's always the, the warm-up flag or the parade lap. And then it'll show you when they go green. And then from green, you know, how many laps they'll have throughout that race and in what position they are through that race and, and so forth. So if you want to look down through, the, and again, and then over here, it kind of has an ongoing line of, of where they are, and then it'll also say what their last laps were, etc. 
Um, we'll take a quick look here as the laps come down. So you scroll down through here. This is each time they come around. So right there is the green flag. That means our flagger through the green as they were coming around. They come through. Uh, this this was their first, the first, you know, from the time the flag gets thrown to the time they come around again. So then that's one completed lap, two completed laps. You just kind of keeps on going. Three completed laps, four, five. Um, right there is uh, in purple is the fastest lap of the race. The system will tell that. The green is the second fastest lap of the race. And they keep kind of going through there. And then after the, the checkered's thrown, and then there's your lineup. And then it says when that run was actually stopped, which means that our, our timing operator, you know, hit the flag and then the stop button. So that's kind of what goes on every single race um, for every single class and features and so on and so forth. Um, let's go. Uh, let's see if we can find one that um, I'm going to go to a feature because I'm not sure if there were any heats that had a caution. But um, uh, let's go back. I don't know. Let's go. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys had a caution. So. Again, uh, this is the initial lineup. Uh, they come out during their, their warm-up flag. Um, and actually, you can see here on this one, it's starting to show a little bit of, of weakness on the signal, which means maybe maybe the it's not charged all the way or something to that effect, but that's how that works. And it'll keep coming around. Every time that comes around across, it'll show that that's a, a, weaker, a weaker transponder signal. Um, so we'll come down. Here's our green flag. And a couple, three laps in. There's some timings starting to be the lead lap times and the fastest ones go. And then a, there's a caution. So our timer will throw a caution uh, when, the, when the, the tower or when the flagger throws the caution. The, the timing operator up here will throw a caution flag up here. Um, to where it freezes the field. Now our rule is you have to go back to the last completed lap. So that means on our on our cars here, if you go back to the last completed lap, which was lap four, that was your lineup when that caution was thrown at the previous lap that everybody crossed the line. So when you come back from that, and say we got you know we got to clean some things up or whatever, and this is all still under caution. Uh, when you come back from that, there should be your lineup for the next green. And again, down on the bottom, it will show you the, the warm-ups. Uh, these are the first three laps, and then the lap four, they had a caution. And then they went back to green, and then they're green again. And then it looks like we're coming up on lap six. Uh, it's going to have another caution again, so there it is. So that's kind of what comes up. And again, they had the running times and, and things to the right. So that's basically what happens during an actual race um, in the timing system. Then uh, distribution, which is another distribution, it's another tab up here. Distribution is where we send out our live feeds. So currently Lime Rock sends out two live feeds. Uh, one is to Speed Hive. So if you have My Laps and the Speed Hive app and you go under live timing, you will find our race that day. And then the other one is the scoreboard feed, and we actually send that out to Race Monitor. So if you have the Race Monitor app, you can look for our race that day on Race Monitor. Um, after that is uh, processing. Actually, let me go back one. On distribution, if you come over here, at the end of the day, when we have all of our results, that's where we upload those to MyLapse and SpeedHive. So at the end of the night, you check our Facebook page. We'll have that link to what the results were of that race. And then in processing, processing is basically where we assign the points for the day and where we make sure everything is accurate for the races. And again, you know, this is this is a computer system and a computer system is only good as the information put into it and we just like to make sure that it's accurate. So at the end of the night, you come in here and you'll see like we'll take, uh, you know, this 270 heat um, there's your results, and over there was where the points were assigned. Um, same thing, we'll go on to a feature. So here's a feature, and over there's feature points that were assigned, and that's what the processing is. 
Um, if there's any other kind of uh, corrections that need to be made, um, you know, during a race, maybe a lap didn't get counted because of something happened in the tower here or, you know, maybe even after a race, um, somebody missed tech or didn't get through tech or something, there's a DQ. This under-processing is where that gets that's taken care of. And then um, the last tab here is the championship tab, and that's basically where we keep our points. So, for example, this happens to be the, the wingless quarter midget points, um, and that's where they're tallied week after week. They're all added up here on a spreadsheet, and that's where they are done. And again, um, over here, right there, uh, that's where we put that link to our Facebook page to put out that weekly points uh, allocation and, and, and results. So that's it for basically my laps. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about a couple other things that affect that. And for that, uh, we'll probably run over to the other side. So you'll catch me back in a little bit. Thanks. <laughs>